good morning we'll start people will are uh, will be joining they're joining quickly anyway we'll start with i don't want to waste any more time now it's 9:35 almost okay uh so we what we were dealing with in the previous class was um alternating quantities what is so till that time all the mod all the modules or all the discussion was limited to either dc circuits or magnetic circuits okay so now we have passed on to alternating currents or alternating voltages or alternating quantities and as i told you in the previous class uh, an alternating quantity is something that changes its volt whose voltage changes periodically and its current also uh, the con the current associated with it also changes along with it so it will have a positive as well as negative path okay so let's and i mentioned about what is instantaneous value also if you remember in this discussion also we'll come across that so um, let me start my presentation if i am going fast today please um, tell me and then i can explain it bit more because it's an extra class i have this tendency of i may have this tendency of going fast okay if you can at any time don't hesitate any one of you if you feel that i should go slower or i should give you more clarifications please feel free to tell me okay okay so usually whenever we speak about alternating quantities alternating quantities quantities i am writing it as quantities because it can be alternating current or alternating voltage still now what we were discussing were all direct quant direct current or direct voltage or we can even say that a steady current steady quantities or steady values that now whenever we think about alternating quantities we always think about sinusoidal current or sinusoidal voltage or which we name as sine current sine sine why do you say that it is we why is it that it always comes to our mind sinusoidal quantities whenever we say say about alternating quantities it need not be sinusoidal you can have a triangular uh, wave or triangular kind of alternating quantity rectangular kind of alternating quantity you can have half wave rectified wave you can have full wave rectified wave etc etc which you have learned that's why i'm just mentioning it but yet why do we always emphasize on sinusoidal or whenever we talk about alternating quantities they immediately the picture that comes into your mind is sine because we always talk about sine wave because one thing is that uh whenever you want an electromagnetic induction to happen by rotating a coil or something the easily available easily generatable or if you want to generate an ec is the the wave that is generated automatically is sine wave and uh, sine wave is considered pure sine wave is considered to be free of harmonics free of harmonics means no other uh, you know it is free of any disturbances it is the best wave or it is the best kind of alternating quantity that all our devices are able to handle if not you can you may say that there are some noises some some disturbances within it si a simple sine wave is always the best for uh, our devices for example when you whenever your power supply in your house goes off and if you have a converter inverter in your house you can switch on to the inverter you will always uh, in, in olden days it was much more of a problem nowadays we they have they have improved the quality of the inverter if not when your uh, devices are working on from the inverter current you you will hear a small a small kind of noise when you if you if you listen to your ceiling fans etc because instead of the sine wave sine wave means a sinusoidal wave is like this instead of the sine wave or theta uh these inverters were initially designed to give you square kind of they are trying to make it more or less sine not pure sine wave so that is why we say that there are certain disturbances within the wave and hence this your devices are reacting to it responding to it by showing by giving you some sound some kind of a noise 
another important very important uh, uh, discovery or or a or, 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 or a step forward in the te technology of signals uh, or this kind of waves is brought forward by fourier fourier series is one way it made the analysis of all such sine waves etc very or any wave easy because according to fourier any wave of this shape which is not a sine wave can be can be considered in as the combination of many such sine waves or any fourier brought forward a theory saying that any non sinusoidal waveform non sinusoidal waveform can be decomposed into simple sine waves of different frequencies this was a major revelation to the scientific community because that is how now we have digital communication and all sorts of new kinds of even our mobile phone every kind of technology that we see around us is basically dependent on fourier series the harmonic analysis everything so fourier series analysis is the basis of all such developments and why because everything if you if 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 you now have understood everything is is being decomposed into or any waveform can be considered as a combination of different sine waves and basic wave is the sine wave now let's look into the details now let's look into why generation of alternating currents as you already know in order that faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction to happen you should have three components one is or that is for the generation of ac generation of any uh, induced em you need to have a magnetic field you need to have a conductor or a conducting coil conductor coil and there should be change in flux density the flux linked so change in flux linked with the conductor or change in flux linkage and this can be brought about in your dynamic index uh, then you have learned about statically and dynamically induced emf in the case of dynamically induced emf this can be brought about by a relative motion relative motion between what all between the magnetic field and the conductor which means i should have a magnetic field then i should have a conductor and there should be a relative motion between this uh, these two relative when there is a relative motion the flux will be cut or there will be change in flux linkage now if you can look at my video whatever i am showing now suppose i consider all of you should listen i know you have learned but yet suppose this is a coil okay suppose this is a coil this side is one conductor this side is one conductor this uh, this much this connection is called as a overhang okay this side and this will be connected to these two ends will be connected to the external circuit so i have a coil or a coil which comes or a winding which comes of two conductors this is a overhang and i connect this to the external circuit which means i will be connecting this to resistance or inductance or whatever it is okay and now if this coil if this coil is kept like this and i have a magnet north pole here south pole here which means i'll have uh, the flux lines here okay now let me consider this as zero degrees okay if you want further uh, uh, explanation you should tell me now let me consider this now i have kept the coil like this i have kept the north pole here south pole here which means from the north to south pole i have flux lines okay and then these flux lines are getting linked with my coil or with this conductor at this point the conductor if i am rotating this conductor in this direction i can bring in a relative motion between this magnetic field and the conductor which means faraday by faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and emf should be induced here and because my circuit is complete i will be connecting this to uh, to a wire and then connecting to some device because the circuit is complete an induced current will also flow according to lenz's law okay now i if i start rotating the coil at constant velocity constant angular velocity omega in this direction say in this direction now when the magnetic field is getting linked here 
at this point what will be the induced emf at this point you can see that this coil is is moving almost parallel to the magnetic field which means though maximum flux lines are getting linked at this position the change in flux linkage is zero because at this position the flux lines and the the conductor are moving parallel to each other okay at this point what happens is that the induced emf will be zero because there is no change in flux linked okay and then if it if, if the coil reaches say almost 45 degrees there is some amount of flux linked with it and when it it is cutting certain flux lines also which means there is a change in flux and by faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction e is equal to minus d psi by dt and emf is induced now because it is a uh, the dynamically induced emf because the conductor is moving you we have already derived that is it is blv sin theta so e is equal to blv sin theta where theta is 45 degrees now when the coil comes to this position it has rotated and come to this position okay now at this position there are so many flux lines the number of flux lines linked with the conductor is minimum number of flux lines linked with the conductor is minimum but the change in flux is maximum because it is going to cut maximum at this at that point it is going to cut the maximum number of flux lines or the change in flux linkage is maximum which means blv sin theta is maximum theta here is 90 or blv the induced emf is blv i hope you have understood now going back to my uh let's take the board itself now here what i have uh, told you is suppose i am not very good at drawing this whole thing now i have a north pole and i have a south pole here okay and then there are the flux lines and i will be keeping okay i will be keeping a coil like this and be keeping a coil like this in between and then connecting it to to end rings and then through which i'll be connecting it to a external circuit this is an external circuit so this was the coil that i was talking to you about okay and i am rotating it at a constant velocity angular velocity omega so at each point you will see that induced emf is uh, obtained and if i plot this suppose i plot this with theta which is equal to omega t okay theta which is equal to omega t i will see that let this be 0 degrees this is my 0 degree when it reaches here it is 90 degree and so on because i am rotating in this direction so let me plot i or v whatever it is instantaneous values at every instant at 0 degrees when the coil is exactly like this as i told you i have the maximum flux lines are getting linked but the change in flux is minimum as a result of which or is zero as a result of which the induced emf is zero e is equal to zero when it reaches 90 degrees when it reaches or when it reaches 45 degree when this coil is rotated and reaches 45 degrees the induced emf is e is equal to d minus d psi by dt which is also equal to which is also equal to b l v sin theta because it is a dynamically induced emf b is the flux density l is the length of this conductor v is the velocity and sin theta so that is blv sin 45 in our case so it will be somewhere if where at 45 degrees it will be somewhere here when it reaches 90 degrees or pi by 2 90 degrees e will be equal to blv sin 90 or el e is equal to blv so it which is the maximum that it can reach isn't it sin 90 so it reaches this value 
and when it goes to 135 degrees again you have blv sin theta which is blv 45 itself which means it will be somewhere here and when it goes to from 0 degree it goes to 180 degrees it has rotated half circle it will again be equal to 0 because there are no flux lines getting linked well there are flux lines getting linked but there are there is no change in flux density flux linkage and the reverse happens in the opposite direction so finally you will get a sine wave as the shape or as the if you if you plot the instantaneous values at every instant if you plot the value of voltage or current you will get a sinusoidal wave so this is what i said first it is natural when that when you rotate a coil within a magnetic field you get a sine wave this is the natural wave or that is the natural shape of the uh, induced emf or volt instant a when you plot the instantaneous values of induced emf or in, in, induced current this is the shape and if you uh, this is basically what is happening in a in any ac generator even in a dc generator this is the basics of a uh, so if at all a question comes of as to how ac is generated this is how it is done now uh, let me because my some of my the figures which i draw may not be very clear to you that is why i try to show you the um, my, with using my bow etc uh, but uh, to make it very much more clearer to you i can take the textbook which i had already given you let me see um the one written by our own uh, faculty the, this is the this is what i meant okay this is what i meant now in this position this is the position of the uh, the coil when maximum flux is getting linked i mean maximum flux is get, flux is changing like there is a maximum flux change in linkage this is the maximum value because it is the the, the axis is lying like this so the whole thing is shown here so this is how you get the sine wave now the direction of the current and voltage etc is determined by lenz's law okay but in in when it comes to when it comes to dynamically induced emf there is one more way in which you can find out the direction which is not mentioned in your syllabus that is why i didn't mention earlier but one more direction this is a dynamically induced emf where you you have already learned it's fleming's right hand rule fleming's right hand rule is nothing but you have to open up your uh, thumb first finger and second finger of the right hand of the right hand generation means right hand bindu gr is teaching you generation right hand generation right hand for the motor it is left hand okay for the generation it's right hand so bindu gr remember okay so right hand open up your uh, open up the thumb first finger and the fourth finger and the second finger of your right hand so that they are in mutually perpendicular directions okay and if the motion of the relative motion is is indicated by the thumb if the magnetic field direction is indicated by the first finger then the induced emf direction will be indicated by the uh, second finger that is what uh, fleming's right hand rule shows that is what is shown here can you see this figure abhay Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is how this is how this is the direction in which you the direction by which you can find out how dynamically induced EMF is produced. So that is what I wanted to tell you in the first case. So I hope this you have understood. Do you want me to explain it once again? If if anyone wants me to explain this once again, I am ready to do that. Is it okay? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so so now we'll concentrate on this equation. It's very important. Okay, so I got E is equal to B L V sine theta. All of you, I I want all of you to listen. Okay, okay, and 
maximum value was obtained when sin theta was equal to 90 degrees maximum value was e blv which so that i can write e is equal to em sin theta now this is the equation that you will be dealing with throughout your course okay the instantaneous value this is called as the instantaneous value instantaneous value of an ac or, or a sinusoidal current or voltage is equal to e is equal to em sin theta let me write it once again small e or small v is equal to vm sin theta which is also equal to vm sin omega t now the in or an instantaneous value of current an ac current is im sin theta which is also equal to im sin omega t now which means that the instantaneous current say i if i want to find out the value of current value of current i at say 5 seconds it is enough that i substitute this as 5 seconds and i will get the value of current at 5 seconds which means which means if i am plotting it with respect to t and this is i and i have this say at 5 seconds what is the value of this value will be obtained suppose i want to find out what is the value of instantaneous current at say 7 seconds that is at say at 7 seconds I can put T as 7 seconds and find out. This is all. So this always remember the, the x-axis can be time. It can be theta, which is also the same as omega T. And if I draw the sine wave correctly, or if it is omega T or theta that I am drawing, I or B, what the, whatever may be the case, the sine wave will be like this. Okay. And this will be 0 degrees. This will be pi, 180 degrees. This will be 2 pi. Okay. This will be the peak occurs at pi by 2. And this from 0 to pi, you call it as a positive half cycle. Positive half cycle. And from pi to 2 pi, you call it as a negative half cycle that is a negative half cycle and together this will form as one cycle why do you call it as one cycle one cycle this from here to here it is a one single cycle because it shows that the 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 coil has rotated from one position and comes back to the other position which means it has completed the effect of north pole as well as south pole okay so that is it so and then we come to certain terminologies i am just going to tell you the terminologies i am not going to you know write down all these things it is contained in every textbook that I have given you. You can just refer to that. I, I am telling, uh, I want all of you to refer to that and learn that by heart and Allah. You have to understand that because it may come in handy for your exams as well as uh, for your, uh, you should know what it is. Okay, so one, one is waveform. First terminology, what is waveform? Exactly what is shown here. The shape of the curve obtained, the shape of the curve obtained by plotting the instantaneous values. What are instantaneous values? I think I remember telling you instantaneous value. Instantaneous value is the value of current or voltage at any time t. The value of an alternating quantity, both magnitude as well as a sign. That is here, current is positive some value. Here, current is negative some value. So the value of the instantaneous quantity, both magnitude and sign at any instant is called as the instantaneous values. And I told you the instantaneous values are almost every time written with small letters. So waveform is the plot of instantaneous value of the alternating quantity against time or angle. Against time or angle. Okay. Then what is cycle? Cycle is one complete set of positive, 
one complete set of positive and negative values of the quantity of the parameter whatever if it's current it's current so one complete set of positive and negative values of an alternating quantity is called a cycle this is one cycle what is time p that then that is cycle third thing is time period third term now time period is the time taken in seconds this is denoted in seconds in seconds to complete one cycle of the alternating quantity which means here time period is this okay this is the time period one complete cycle the time taken if this can be indicated as t if i am uh, plotting this in terms of t if i am plotting y axis x axis in terms of t i can put this as capital t it is almost it is every time denoted by capital t capital t is a time period time taken for the alternating quantity to complete one cycle then comes the frequency frequency you may all all know frequency is denoted in hertz and it is the number of cycles of the alternating quantity that occur the number of cycles that of the alternating quantity that occur in one second number of cycles per second so here i have shown only one cycle it happens in t seconds capital t seconds how many number of cycles occur in one second so the frequency in our power system in our power system the frequency is 50 hertz in america it is 60 i think which means 50 cycles of the alternate ac occurs 50 cycles of sine waves occur in one second in our power system in our whatever power is being supplied to our system then fifth one is and so then there is a there is a connection there there will be obviously be a relationship between time period and frequency what is that t is equal to 1 by f t is equal to 1 by f and because t and omega t are related you can have one more equation coming in t is equal to 1 by f then another equation will be omega equal to 2 pi f this is 2 pi isn't it so 2 pi into f should be equal to omega only then this relationship stands okay this is another equation these equations will come in handy when you come uh, come across problems simple problems then this next uh, terminology is amplitude amplitude is what the maximum value this is an amplitude this is the amplitude maximum value both positive or negative okay the maximum value of attained by the alternating quantity is called as the uh, is called as the peak value or you know the amplitude now let me tell you this value will be what it will be equal to e oh sorry vm equal to vm or i m if i am plotting current we had known that i is equal to i m sin omega t v is equal to v m sin omega t this i m or this v m is this value as well as this value v m i m minus okay hope this much is clear shall i proceed to the next section hope this much is clear Will you all go through the definitions of all these terminologies? I hope you have understood. If you want to reproduce the uh, statement in for your exams, maybe you require uh, to learn that also. Okay. Is that okay? Shall I proceed to the next section? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, if it is a DC circuit or DC current or voltage that you're dealing with, you always know we can say it is 5 volt or it is 15 volt, it is 20 volt. All of you will understand it is 20 volt, it's 20 ampere. But when it comes to an AC quantity, when you say it's 20 volt, it can be an instantaneous voltage, instantaneous value of current, or is it the peak value, or are you speaking about any other value? 
so which means when it comes to an ac quantity a simple magnitude when you say when it is simple say 5 ampere or 15 ampere or 15 volt doesn't make a sense you have to mention what type of value it is whether it is instantaneous value you are talking about is it the peak value or is it any other value and another thing is that we want to know how much of this ac current can be utilized by us or what is the usable quantity in, contained in that if i can use that kind of a use so we have something known as one average value average value second thing is rms value or effective value of ac quantity 